All right, hey guys, Marshall from Limited Resources. We're doing a little, oh, we're doing a bonus Kickstarter video here, and uh, I have with me none other than the Brian Osteros himself, Brian Wong. Hey, Brian. What's up, everybody? Welcome, sir. So uh, everybody always wants you to do videos, including myself, and uh, I finally conned you into doing it by by coming along with me here. So yeah, I'm technologically illiterate, um, so I need you to help me so that I, I, I can uh, connect to Skype and... Uh, look at what you're seeing that that'll work out for me yeah so the way it's working is i'm steering the ship here but i actually i'm gonna have brian like you know occasionally we'll, the most for the most part we'll come to a decision together but there are times where uh you know a decision needs to be made about like maybe a tough pick or a pick that goes in different directions and stuff and i'm gonna give the reins over to brian for that this is sort of my way of you know getting brian to do a video even if even if i'm uh, steering the ship so that's how that's gonna go we're, we're gonna do a, a theros 8-4 here this is um, for those of you that were were around when the Kickstarter was going. This is a uh, one of the promises for the stretch goals that we had, and uh, so we're fulfilling that here. So you can get a good look at our first pack here, Brian. I assume you can see everything, okay? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, so we've mm. got a Night Howler, a Magma Jet, a Disciple, a Sip, and there's an Agent of Horizons. There's a Wave Crash Triton, a few things. Let's start with Night Howler. How good do you think that is? I, I'm not sure if it's a, a first pickable card. I, I think mm -hmm. it's good. The problem is that it's not good in every matchup. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's a little slow. You can't even cast it unless there's something in the yard. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm thinking the safest pick is the Magma Jet here. Yeah, Magma Jet's definitely the safest pick. It's also kind of boring, but what it's do you boring. like? What do you want to do? I, I, I think I like the Magma Jet. Okay. I mean, do you the, like Magma Jet over Coordinated Assault? Um, yes. In general? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the yeah the night howler is like so high variance. Like it's either gonna like win you the game or like it's gonna do nothing. Yeah, I mean it's kind of nice that you we get to uh, if we first pick it we get to draft around it at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. But you want the jet? Yeah, I mean, the, right. what what, do you, what what would you pick? If I, was I would take here? the night howler, but I'm not okay. disagreeing with the words that you said either. So I want to see what Brian Wong does. Come on, that's the whole point here. All right, so what do we have here? Gift, that's not really playable. Uh, Flame Speaker Adept, there's hey. Death Bellow Raider, yeah, Battlewise think... Valor, Philosopher, a two-headed Cerberus. Yeah, it looks like the, the Flame Speaker, I mean, that fits right with our first pick at least. <laughs> it um, sure this does. This is a really weak pack. Yeah, this pack sucks. The rare is lame. Yeah. All right, we'll take Flame Speaker Adept. If we had taken the Night Howler, I'm not exactly sure what we would, would have done there either. Yeah, um, not, so and... so here's our choice. Uh, we're going to be green and we're going to be blue. Um, right. So what do you I, like here? I kind of like the blue-red um, Flame Speaker Adept deck. We could try that by taking the Horizon Scholar. Mm -hmm. um, either that, we just go with the conventional beatdown and we take the Leaf Crown Dryad. Right. And this one, uh, interestingly, we have a few wheel possibilities here with Leaf Crown Dryad, Nessian Corsair, and Goliath. You know, Corsair's not going to come back, but Goliath could. Um, wouldn't call it a sure thing by any stretch, but that card's pretty darn good. At least it has been for me. Mm -hmm. um, what are you thinking? I kind of like Leaf Crown Dryad here myself. Okay. I mean, if you want to be a little more conventional, I could yeah. see that. I mean, I I just feel like Horizon Scholar is pretty sweet, but it's not exactly like a Shelly or something like that where we're just like, ooh, you know, like, let's go yeah. over into that. Where Leaf Crown Dryad is just like so rock solid in like so many different decks. Okay, let's go green. Yeah. All right. All right. And we're immediately punished. Well, no, I guess not. But so there's a Sea Lock Monster. Uh, in blue, there's a time defeat in green, and then there's an arena athlete in red, depending on what we want to do here. There's also I, think I actually like pick. the two-headed Cerberus more than those other red cards. You like it better than athlete? Yeah. Arena athlete does, doesn't seem to ever do anything for me. Um, yeah. You don't get a lasting effect from the heroic. I don't really like it. And two-headed Cerberus like, kind of is the heroic card in that like, you buff him, and then he gets way cooler. Um, like significantly, it, yeah. Yeah, it, so it's either, I think it's a, for me it's a Cerberus or it's the time to feed. Okay, which one of those do you like better? Um, probably time to feed, but okay, it's it's like a dislike on both ends, I think. Yeah, I mean the 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 advantage to going with the Cerberus here is that we can stay in just red and we don't have to be in green. Right, right. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll just I, I took the Cerberus because we ran out of time there. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, that's a fine pick. Like. I mean, yeah, like one Leaf Crown Dry doesn't necessarily make us. Yeah. Hey, look, <laughs> somebody's saying this to you. Oh, oh. 
Uh, so Agent of Horizons or Borderland Minotaur. I told him that you said thanks, <laughs> even though you didn't. Um, um, yeah. So what do you like here? Agent of Horizons is fine. I think, I think kind of like we just take the Minotaur and just like that's just, what I like to stay on red. I think so too. Yeah. Like we can really sort out where we want to be a little bit later here because there's just nothing that's been pulling us in any other direction other than well, not even really in red, but other than red. Yeah, we're not excited about what we have so far, but we haven't passed anything all that good either. So no. it's a nice pickup, though. Sure, it's fine. I mean, it's good with our um, flame speaker depth holster. Yeah, <clears throat> and again, really nothing else to to pull us in any other direction anyway. Yeah. All right, this is a little bit of a signal. Uh, <clears throat> potentially, there's a prescient chimera still in the pack. That's pretty nice little pickup. Uh, there's also a couple of red cards that we could take, even a blood toll harpy or an amulet. There, there, there's some decent stuff here. What do you like? I'd probably just stay with the Cerberus. Okay. And we're kind of on a Cerberus plan, so we want to get, like, uh, Dragon Mantles. All right. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, man, I, I actually started to come to like it. However, I don't the the horse, I'll, I don't think it's good in our deck because all we do is attack on the ground. I know, it sucks because I actually really <laughs> like the card quite a bit, but we're really looking to beef something up and get through for a big chunks of damage here. So, yeah. Um, so just stick with wild celebrants then. Yeah. I mean, we could, yeah, probably we just take the celebrants. It's like, are you looking at this maybe? Sad. No, not really. Okay. I don't, I don't even like cutthroat maneuver if I'm black. Yeah. I don't know either. Um, this is a, this is an interesting one. So we can take the fade into antiquity. We can take the Raptor, probably just take the fade as a sideboard card. I don't think we'd be desperate enough to play the Raptor. Yeah. I like the fade there myself. Um, I just do the same logic. Shredding wins sideboard. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we don't even know if we're in green, but if we are, those will be nice cards to have in the board. Uh, here? I, the Raptor's playable. I think he's the most playable card in the pick. Okay. <clears throat> Celebrants? Yeah, Celebrants again. Yeah. Apparently, we can never have too many of those. If, uh, sure, uh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. um, if we play against uh, any of the gods of weapons we'll bring in our celebrants and we'll crush them oh I love doing that god I love doing that alright so this is an interesting one because we're clearly heavy red with nothing really good <laughs> and yeah then, our, our, our pool is very mediocre however uh -huh. we can take whatever card we want of the second pack yeah exactly um, it feels like black is not open at all um, it feels like blue is slightly open mm-hmm I green feel the same way. I and green is um, slightly open, yeah. So here we got a choice of probably Perforos' Emissary or the Voyaging Seder. Um If we had gone the blue route, we would probably consider the Flame Speaker because it's really good in blue red. Yeah. Um I think it's probably just the, the emissary. It's kinda of boring, but Okay. I mean there's nothing really better off color. No, I don't think so either. Uh, what do we have here? Still really nothing off color. There's a Titan of Eternal Fire, so just kind of a big fatty. Yeah. There's also another Cerberus and another Borderland Minotaur. I think we might go all in on Cerberus, and we try to find a way to beef him up. I don't know. You, is that crazy? You, these packs are so weak. These packs are just horrible. Yeah. I mean, at least we haven't passed. We haven't passed anything good at all. No, we haven't, because we would have totally taken it. Yeah. So you like Cerberus here? Yeah. You done with that? Yeah, sure. Okay. We'll see if we can make a Cerberus deck work. Yeah. Uh, we've got a Stone Shock Giant opened up here. Uh, yeah, there's also he's better than our current five drops. He is, is yeah. Nice. I mean, if we were... I, mean, I suppose... I, I don't really like Centaur Battlemaster better than Stone Shock Giant. So, I don't either. So I don't really want to deviate for that. Yeah. Um, there's a Read the Bones that I like. There's a Nylea's Presence. If, there's a couple of nice cards, but I think Stone Shock's probably... The yeah. most powerful card in the in the pack outside of like something that we the, just yeah can the, never the, the center is probably the best card but I mean we're yeah. definitely not there right all right well we're just gonna be mono red for the whole draft yeah apparently all right finally we get some other good stuff here there's a nemesis of mortals a voyaging satyr there's even a warrior's lesson that we could potentially wheel here oh warrior's and lesson a with with two headed server yes so we could draw, draw our four, deck four cards. <laughs> we could, we could uh, opportunity off of our, our one mana um, we could. I'm, I'm leaning towards the Voyaging Seder. Oh, really? Not the more, not the Nemesis? We got plenty of fatties. Okay. 
Um, I, yeah, I find in green red you have to come out fast because you, you just don't do anything broken. So if yeah. you do non-broken things at normal speed, you don't really have uh, – <laughs> you can't really beat a good hand. Your, your deck's just lame. Okay. We'll yeah. take the satyr here. Oh, this is interesting. There's a savage surge, which we certainly would like with our three two-headed Cerberi. There's mm-hmm. also, though, a destructive revelry, which is going to be on color and pretty sweet in our deck and another time to feed. Although, I, although, although we didn't take that other one, did we? No, we took... Um, yeah, we took something in red. We took a Cerberus like, or something like that, yeah, right? Yeah, we took Cerberus, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it, it's, I think it's the Revelry or the Savage Surge. Yeah, know. so what do you like better here? I mean, Revelry is pretty sweet in a deck like this, but Savage Surge just has a lot more, like, util- utility, you know, yeah, game I, in and game I, Yeah, out. I think we want the Surge in I this deck. I think so, too. We might even get the Revelry back. You know, th- those gold cards... They can come back sometimes where you're like, oh, sweet. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, oh, sweet, I like Coordinated Assault quite a bit. What do, yeah. what do you like out of here? Yeah, that Coordinated Assault will be good for us. Yeah. Um, it's not, like, it's excellent good. with the Cerberus, but it's not bad either. No, but it is pretty nice with, uh, with the bigger creatures like Borderland Minotaurs and stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to be, be try to be as aggressive as we can now. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the place we're at. Um, a right, couple interesting options here. There's a really one of the ideal four drops for the deck. There's also another... Uh, not unreasonable piece of removal. And there's even a Seder Hedonist, which would probably make the cut. I'm going to hide these Celebrants for now, but we're going to remember that they're there. Yeah, I, I prefer the Cyclops to the Rage. Okay, I do too. Our deck is so boring. This is it, the most boring deck. It's a little boring, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then there's just kind of nothing here. We could take a Unicorn, I suppose. Sure. I'm going to hide it for now. All right. Sure. That's a nice thing to get back. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely, like, not a color. It's like, well, you should have been this color instead. No, because we like would be everything it. is kind of the same. Like, I would happily give up these three cards for any three really good cards in another color. I mean, these are all fine, but, like... Right. This, yeah. It, <laughs> we if, we uh, honestly we could be open going on into color pack cards, three. We can actually switch for a bomb in pack three. Yeah, I was just thinking that, too. <laughs> it's like, like, if we open Elspeth, like, we can just go white. Yeah. We need ways to pump. Are our, you calling it? Are dogs. we opening Elspeth? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I haven't opened one uh, in like 50 drafts, so we're due. Okay. Um, I lean towards Minotaur here. Come on, look at this guy. We don't have a single human. <laughs> yeah, oh, we, we, we have. Don't. We do have a single human. We have yeah. one. Human. Boom. <laughs> I still, I still like the Minotaur. And I, I think this is a really good name for a creature that can ping stuff too. <laughs> Does that matter? No. Uh, All right. I'll um, take priest. What do you like? Sure. I mean, what? we're not going to play either of those. Sandals, maybe. All right. I'll take the sandals just in case. I could see it. Sure. A crown crusader. Maybe we'll yeah. um, get some ordeals. The ordeals are actually pretty good right. on the dogs. So this so. did actually come back. So that's nice. There's our revelry. Yeah. Party time. All right. So this is coming together, but we really still don't have a way. Ooh. To get like these uh, these two headed Cerberus going, quite yet nope. we've got a couple of ways like, you know we've got uh, like a couple of overcosted <laughs> bestow guys and a pump spell or two, but I kind of want to go off, you know. Getting that two drop last pick was actually really helpful. <laughs> yes, this we kind of needed it. Yeah. All right. Interesting. <laughs> So we did pick up one card that we really like, which is Dragon Mantle. But in the rare slot, there's a 100-handed one, which is awesome. There's also oh a Wingsteed Rider in this pack and a Dauntless Onslaught. Like, we could get some, We could get this Verdict back. Heck, there's a Grey Merchant and a Bell Fidel. And now this is a pack here. Yeah. So the is question like, is, this to is, me, go ahead. This is the tempting. This is, this is where the temptation comes in. Yes. Um, do we just stick on the Dragon Mantle? Like... God, that is so lame. I mean, if we're taking a white card, which one are we even taking? I, I would take 100-handed one over Wingsteed Rider, but I think it's close. God, it's, but, it's so rough when your first white card is double white and it's pack three, and it doesn't monstrous unless you pay triple white. That's we, true. And, and that's our three really drops are point. all double. You're, you're I don't right. think it's that good in our deck. Okay, so you want to just go with Mantle? Yeah. I think if we were taking a white card, we actually take Dauntless Onslaught. <laughs> yeah, which would be sweet in the deck down the line. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll take the Dragon Mantle. I'm sad about that pick, though. Oh, man. Talk about sad. Back to the garbage here. How do you feel about Temple of uh, Abandon? I mean, it is on color. 
it's the best. I think it's actually just the best card in the pack. I think it is too. I mean, Spirit Point Oreo, yeah, it's pretty decent, but ooh, okay. Oh, uh, this is an interesting one. So there's a Minotaur, Minotaur Skull Cleaver, which we would run for sure. There's an Oread, which we'd run. There's also Anger of the Gods and Warrior's Lesson and a Nessian Asp. So tons of good stuff. Interesting thing about Anger of the Gods is that it just destroys us. <laughs> like it yeah, kills, it kills every all our creature stuff. we have. I think we take Nessian Asp. It's but just... Asp is just like the most powerful, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to wheel something out of this pack. Maybe yeah, this we, we, we kind of want a Warrior's Lesson, man. It's yeah, so easy right. to, to just draw two off of that. We actually really want a Warrior's Lesson. Yeah, which is funny. Ooh. Oh, well, there we go. We got paid. Yeah. We actually got the best card out of the pack. Yeah, right. so that's nice. There's also a Portin and a Hunt, the Hunter, but... I mean, it's been obvious this whole draft that Red's been open. It's just that right. Red doesn't actually have that many good cards, so it's hard to get paid off. Right. Um, so we're at 15 creatures right now. We can take another Savage Surge to try to pump up these Cerberus, or we can take a creature like another Cerberus or an Agent or something like that. I think we're taking this Surge. I think so, too. Especially like with Death Bellow Raider, like... We really, mm -hmm. we really need to get some more tricks going here. All right, here's another Death Bellow Raider. I don't think... Well, we would definitely just take a Destructive Reverie over a Artisan Sorrow, right? Right. So there's a Cerberus, a Revelry, or a Death Bellow Raider. Let's see, what's our two drops right now? We got right now we've got Raider, Dryad, Satyr. We have Raider, Dryad, Satyr. So we kind of just need more twos. Mm-hmm. The other thing is, like, if we don't think we're going to main any of these cards, we take the Revelry because it's the best sideboard card. Yeah, that's but true. Probably just want the Raider. God, that is so too. boring. Dude, that guy attacks. Have you not seen what it does? It attacks people. Oh, there's Titan Strength. I think we want that. Uh, God, the Warrior's Lesson is so tempting to me, though. I think we're going to wheel one. I hope so. I, I want really Titan Strength. I really yeah. want one in our deck. Titan Strength also uh, has Scry, and we do have that one Flame Speaker, so that's a thing. Yeah. Uh, I think second I want the stone shock or the courser which one do you think nesting courser he's better than all of our three drops so far okay yeah all he right. doesn't need as much help <laughs> yeah so oh there's our we're not gonna see any new magic cards so why is it our does deck get, so awesome? it does not get more exciting than this <laughs> dude there's is... exciting wheels on the horizon here this is this deck's really a little lame yeah, I mean, what's what's the best card that we passed? Uh, we cast a couple of white cards. We didn't get past a single good white card, I don't think, right? In no, we didn't. Nope. Like, if we had tried to switch, it would have failed. It would have failed kind of miserably. Yeah. Although, um, if we had taken the Dauntless Onslaught, maybe that's a splash or something, but not really. Yeah. It wouldn't have been worth giving up our, uh, our green for it. Mm. I mean, are we going to triple Wild Celebrants or we just hate the ordeal? I would just hate the ordeal. There's no way we're going to play it. And I, I don't even have one showing here. Like, I'm hoping to either play one or zero celebrants. Yeah. All right. Let's take the ordeal. Yeah. I just don't want to get ordealed. All right. We got the Oread back. Sure. Yeah. That guy's pretty good. We in our, didn't uh, quite get paid our... off enough for being red. No, we definitely didn't. All right. So we did get that Goliath back. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to run it or not. It's pretty good in our deck. Unknown Shores. Okay. So, we made a deck. Yeah, it's a deck. Uh, I don't recall getting past, like, a good card the entire draft. Other than that, yeah, like, in any way. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. That, was, that draft was weird. The first two packs were very miserable. The third pack was okay. Mm-hmm. There were some decent cards at least going around the table for people. Like we got that lightning strike in what third or fourth or whatever, and that mm -hmm. yeah, came out okay. Yeah, I mean we we picked the right color to go in on. It's just um, didn't quite get paid off for it. Yeah, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I mean that's the thing about picking the worst color in the set is like sometimes even if it is open, you don't get a good deck. We have an on color dual land though. I feel like we're unstoppable. And it scries. Plus it's two, plus one for strike. Gryland, bro. Okay. So I'm just going to start bringing down all of this stuff, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out what we want to cut here. Uh, this is all in.
yeah, we're not going to play that unicorn. Right. Okay. So this is 27. There's a Raptor. Yeah. There's really nothing. I don't think that we want up here. Um, okay. Unless we want more fives, then we can bring in a celebrants or whatever, but let's see how this looks. These are all dudes. So this is what our deck looks like at 27 cards here. Okay, so we can definitely afford to cut um, a couple of creatures. Yeah, for sure. We've got 18 here. Yeah. Um, my first thought is to cut one of the Spear Point Oreads. I just don't really like that card. Okay. Uh, what do you think about main deck Revelry? It's pretty good, Do honestly. we want it? Do we need um, it? We kind of... It's a high variance card, and I think we kind of maybe want that. Considering, okay. <laughs> considering looking deck, at our deck, it's like, well, we can actually use something kind of broken. Yeah. Hmm. Does the fox stay? Um, I mean, we can dump a few. We can play less forests if we cut him. Yeah. yeah, probably. Probably we cut one of the dogs. We didn't really maximize them. Something like this. This is 24. Hound dog. Yeah, we didn't maximize them, but they're actually okay. We've got Titan Strength, oh, yeah, Dragon Mantle, Coordinated Assault, Double Savage Surge. That's pretty decent. Yeah, how's our Flame Speaker? So we got the Magma Jet. Titan Strength, the Rage. The land. Titan Strength, and the Land. That's good enough for me. Okay. As a 2 3 to start with, it's. Good yeah. enough. Just get like we'll get like one activation per game, maybe. Not bad. Um, what do you think about cutting a Death Bell Raider? Do you like all of our twos the way they are? It's. I mean, I wish they were better, um, but uh -huh. I don't know if we can really play less. I mean, if the if the first play we make in the game is one of our boring three drops, I don't think we're gonna do very well. Yeah, that that definitely feels like a losing proposition. Mm -hmm. So that makes okay. me want to keep them. Okay. Um, so our pump spells, we got four. Yeah, sur two surges, a strength, and a coordinated assault, and then we also have a dragon mantle as well. Yeah. Which isn't really a pump spell per se, but... It's like, yeah, maybe we want to keep all of those. If, but we can't... I guess we can't really cut a creature. 15, I think, is our number. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, so that means away from that. destructive revelry is a card we could cut. We could tuck... We're not going to cut a Dragon Mantle or yeah. a Titan Strength or really a Coordinated Assault. We could cut a Savage Surge. We could cut yeah. this. I think the last cut is Surge or Revelry. Hmm. Eh, I, kind of, I kind of like what you said about it being high variance and us kind of wanting that. Yeah, It is super annoying when you don't have a target for it. but It's just that our, our uh, Raiders are so weak if we don't have Hump Spells. That's right. Yeah, I think we I think we just sit okay. on it. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, it is the type of card that you'll notice pretty quickly when it's going to be able to come in like if they have early stuff that you can hit with it where mm -hmm. you know, I feel like uh some like every deck has a target for it. That's not the problem. It's just like when, right? Cuz we're going to be enforcing our will early here and then uh <clears throat> and then we're going to need a way to deal with certain stuff later. I think we can just bring it in. I actually really want our opponent to have like a whip of Erebus so we can just bring in all our wild celebrants and get them. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> like it, you're, if you're there's one thing our deck is good that? at doing, it's bashing artifacts. I was thinking, well, I was thinking five forests, five forests and five forests and a voyaging Seder. Oh, cause we, we have the dual land. Yeah. So, so that's only six, that's like sources. six sources. Yeah. It's okay. I like, guess. We really don't have a big choice on it, though, because we need so much red to hit like this and then this. I mean, it also just maximizes our, you know, Dragon Mantle and stuff like that. Yeah. Seder just seems kind of shitty in our deck. No, he's fine. I mean, if we get a Borderland a Minotaur walk. on turn three, that's actually a really good hand. If you get what? A Borderland Minotaur out on turn three. Yeah, that's true. Especially like, that's, when you have pump spells. Yeah, that's actually one of the best hands we can get. Um, okay, so you like this then? Yeah, I think that's our build. Right. I will be submitting this, and uh, let's see what this thing can do in the first round.